Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see on our bench, we got a little bit of snow here. So yeah, it's a beautiful day here in December on the homestead. Anyways, let's get right into today's video. Um, I am not really a product review channel. Um, I've mixed in a video here and there. I get emails, you know, a few times a week. Hey, can you try this out? Try this out. A lot of it's crap, but every so often you get an email and you're like, wow, I think that'd be really handy. So um, a company called Vic Offroad USA, and I'll attach a overlay. They actually sent me an Instagram message. And long story short, I was talking to a gentleman named Stanley there, who's one of their, um, not HR, um, one of their communications rep, whatever his actual um, title is, social media uh, boss, if you will. And he said, hey, Jay, listen, we're going to send you something that you're probably not going to use it for its intended purpose, but you can probably find a use for it. And I thought that was pretty funny. So if a company's willing to send you something that says, hey, this product is designed for this, but you're probably going to use it for this, that means they have faith in it. So anyways, let's get right into keep it. Keep all things transparent. Again, I'm not a product review channel. This was sent to me uh, for free, so I'm doing a free review on it. There's no monetary compensation at all. But anyways, this is the Fiery Red um, 46,000 pound snap um snatch strap kit now this is what you would use to recover a vehicle and whatnot um but i have skidded logs before you guys have seen that um, i've skidded logs with the kubota i've skidded logs with the, the uh, heavy chevy there um it's winter time now cables eh, cables are dangerous they really kind of freak me out chains are good but again they're cold you know whatever what have you um so i a strap as far as comparing the three, is definitely the safest. So uh, I'm excited to get to try this. This is a 30 foot um, cable. So yeah, let's open it up, take a look at it. And then we have a treetop that we need to pull out of another tree. So that's gonna come up in a little bit, but um, let's go ahead and open this and check it out and do a little bit of a review. Again, I'm not a product review channel, but this is something that fell on my lap. And I figured, hey, why not? So let's take a look at it. And then we're gonna hop on the Kubota. We're gonna see if we can pull that treetop out of the tree. So. Pull you guys in and have a look. All right, again, here it is. Here's a look at it. This is a fiery red 46,000 pound uh, snatch strap kit. This is the four inch by 30 feet. Again, this is sent to me by Vic Offroad USA. They are an off-road company. Their mothership is out of Australia, but um, they have obviously a US chapter. So first things first, I like it. No peanuts, no packing, no BS. All right, GoPro, don't fail me now. <laughs> it is 20 degrees though, so the camera is acting up. But here are your snatch blocks here. They seem like they're pretty good quality. Comes with a little rubber um, buffer here, if you will. So this kit came with two of these, two of the snatch blocks, and then the four inch by 30 foot cable. Again, this is by Fiery Red Equipment. Um, very light, so 30 feet is very light. Uh, very surprising. And it comes with the instruction manual, which we're not gonna read. And uh, comes with a little carrying bag here. So let's go ahead and throw it on the Kubota and see what we can do. All right, folks, so right there is where the tree we took down last video, but this is the top here. It's hung up a bit. I wanna see if we can throw that ratchet strap around here, run it back to the Kubota and back up and see if we can wiggle this down because this is all, a lot going on here. This is a hot mess. So if I can get this tree on the ground, that'll be safer and easier to process it. So let's grab the strap. I'm thinking, I'm thinking start high. So let me put you guys down here. Let me grab the strap and then we'll we'll set it up. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the bucket here. If not, I can hook to the rear the rear box. But let's try to do this. I think this might work. So we take our strap here. I think we can do something. Something like this. I don't see why not, right? This is all new to me. I'm not really a rigger off-roader. But again, we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a shot here. So put these washers back on. We're gonna tighten this shackle. I don't think that's its intended anchor point, but hell, let's give it a shot, right? It's all about the action shot. Let's 
see if that higher torque will Mess. Well, the, finally, we got, look at how much, many branches are on that thing. Holy moly, so. <laughs> Cut that stump, finally gave it that little bit of flex to get it out. Now we can safely process it up and cut it up for firewood. So yeah, I would like to thank Vic Off-Road USA. Again, I'll attach a, uh, I'll put a link below in the description. Thank you for sending me that tow rope. This is exactly what uh, <laughs> I needed for. 30 feet by four inches, that's good. So again, I'd like to thank Stanley at Vic Off-Road USA. I'll put a link in the description below. They have a ton of off-road stuff, ropes, shackles, soft shackles, traction boards, all types of cool stuff. So uh, anyways, thank you, Stanley. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, needless to say, I think we're good on that note. So <laughs> we're gonna buck this up. For firewood, we're gonna go get the four-wheeler and we're gonna haul it out and we're gonna split it. And we're gonna have some fun. Some